Hi, this is Sarah from Posh Pooch Designs, and I have Maximo here with me, our number one dog model. He's modeling the dog necktie, and that's what we're going to be doing today on our video. How to make a crochet necktie for your dog, for your cat, or any pet, actually. The pattern is completely adjustable, and I'll show you how to do it. Oops, I just got him right in the nose. Mwah. So, but let Maximo go play. You go on and go play, and I'll tell you exactly what you need. Now, the um, blog link will be in the comments. And what you're going to need, I'm going to do this. You can do it in a stripe. I'm going to do this in a variegated. So I'm going to be using Panther Pink from Red Heart and some black from Red Heart. You're going to need a button for the button closure on the back. You'll need an H hook and you'll need a needle to sew that button on and to sew in your ends. Also, it's a good idea to have a handy dandy tape measure because, <laughs> because you'll need to measure your dog's neck. And there is a picture on the blog to show you how to measure your dog's neck. If you work the pattern as written, it will make a 12 inch dog collar. And also remember, when we make these crochet dog collars, they're not strong enough to hold the leash. They're decorative. And a lot of times I just put them on right over their dog, uh, regular dog collars. All right, let's get started. <clears throat> the first thing we're going to do is start, if you're going to make it striped, start with one of your colors. I'm gonna make it a solid variegated. So. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is chain two, one, two, and then we're gonna put two single crochets in the second chain from the hook. There's one, two, chain one and turn. And for this tie part, because we're starting with the tie part, the uh, necktie part, you will not, uh, the chain one is only a turning chain. It does not count as a stitch. So row two, we're going to put two single crochets in each of those single crochets, which will give us four single crochets. Chain one, two. You see the little point starting? All right, row three, two single crochets. And the first one, one single crochet in the next two, there's one, two and then two single crochets in that last single crochet. And this will give us six single crochets across, chain one and turn. So you'll just do one single crochet in each single crochet across. And this will be the beginning of our tie. There we go. Chain one and turn. You can see the little point. And this yarn has short um, color changes, so it pulls really nicely and it works perfect for this. So this is what you're going to do. And then for your next, I believe it's 15 rows, yes, you're going to do one single crochet in each single crochet for six single crochets on each row. And then it'll look like this. You've got your point here and 15 rows of single crochet. My last one came out, there we go. Now, what we're gonna do on this next row is we're going to single crochet the first two single crochets together, and that's gonna give us our little indention. So what you'll do is you'll put your hook through the first single crochet and draw a loop through. Then you'll put your hook through the second single crochet and draw a loop through, yarn over and pull it through all three of those loops. And then you'll single crochet in the next three single crochet, wait, yeah, next two single crochets, not three, two. And then you'll single crochet those last two single crochets together, and this will only give us four single crochets across. So we go in, we grab a loop, we go in the next single crochet, we grab a loop, yarn over and pull all through those three loops, chain one and turn, and that gives you one, two, three, four single crochets. And then you'll one single crochet in each one of those. One, two, three, four. And that gave us our little indention. 
So in this next row, we need to increase back out to six single crochets. So what we're going to do is in the first single crochet, we're going to put two single crochets, then one single crochet in the next two, one, two, and then two single crochets in that last single crochet. And that will give us, let me chain one and turn, and that will give us six single crochets across. And then you will single crochet across this row for three more rows. And you'll have this at the top. And then at the very corner, after you finish those rows, you're going to change to your solid color if you want to. You may be making this all in one color. But isn't this pretty how this uh, panther pink from Red Heart pulls up nice? I really like it. Okay, so then you're going to put two single crochets in the corner, single crochet across, two single crochets in this corner, and then you're going to single crochet, and you'll kind of go in a little at that indention, single crochet in each at the side of each row all the way down to this point. When you get to that point, put three single crochets in that point, and then you'll turn and you'll single crochet all the way back up like we did, all the way back up here, and join to that first single crochet. And that gives you a nice finished trim, and you can see how it naturally just kind of goes in just a little bit. If you want it to go in more, you can always do some, uh, some yarn around it, make it tighter. I just didn't want to. I, I really like the way that it looks. And that's the tie portion. Now we're going to make the collar portion. Let's move those yarns over. There we go. I'll just take this one out that I was working with. Okay, now to make the tie, excuse me, the collar portion, you're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and then you're going to single crochet in the second single crochet and then in the next two, so that would be three single crochets, one, two, three, chain one, single crochet, two, three, <laughs> all of a sudden I didn't want to come through there, there we go, and you're going to continue this for as long as you need it, and like I said, if you made the pattern, <laughs> Rosie just did a good shake. If you made the pattern according to written, it will work for a 12 inch dog neck. If you want it less, three rows equal one inch. So you need to subtract three rows for every inch you want it smaller or add three rows for every inch that you want it larger. Also remember, yarn is stretchy. So you're better off going a little smaller than you are a little bigger. Just FYI. Okay, so then you're gonna do that and what you'll end up with is this long chain, uh, this long collar. And I've gone ahead and added, <clears throat> excuse me, my other color, and I single crocheted one single crochet on each row, two, two single crochets in the two single crochets in the corner, crochet across, same thing, single crochets all the way down. And I'm going to show you how to make the button loop. Let me. And just so that you understand, when you're single, evenly single crocheting down the side of a project, I always put one single crochet in the end of each row. And that makes a nice even row like uh, so that it looks good. Because you want it to have a nice finished edge. All right, I'm almost to the top up here. Okay, then I need two single crochets in that corner. And then one in each of the three across. One, two, three, and then your slip stitch. Now, to make your button loop on the end, you're going to chain two, three, four, and then you're going to hook this chain or join this chain to the corner with a slip stitch. And you can see it makes a loop. If I can show you better. There you go. Makes a loop. And then you're going to chain one and turn. And you're going to make five single crochets in that loop. One, two, three, four, five. Then you're going to slip stitch back into that first 
stitch and tie off and be sure and work in your ends but that gives you your chain loop so the next step is your button thread your needle and sew your button on this end make sure it's far enough in so that it will overlap a little do that a couple of times and remember you make sure that your needle can get through those buttonholes when it's threaded with the yarn because sometimes I've had them be a little bit snug let me just put a quick tie on that and that will work just like this and of course I haven't tied in my ends yet be sure and tie your ends in and then your button slips right through there the last step is to line up your tie in the center of your collar and with your matching yarn tie uh, sew that on all the way around I usually sew from here up here across and then down here and that holds it in place really nicely use I'll use the black thread on this one and then you'll end up with a cute little tie that looks similar to this one and something that I do is I make sure that the um, collar the button can be slipped over my dog's head without having to f fuss with buttoning and unbuttoning it and a lot of times if it's loose enough he's wanting his cookie because he did a little modeling <laughs> come here max come here come here buddy come up here come over here See if I can get him back up here. Here we go. He said, I did a little modeling. I need my cookie. Let's, I'll show you. I just slide it right on just like that. And then we go to the park or our event or whatever we're wearing our little tie for. Be sure and take a minute and subscribe to my new YouTube channel. And I hope you've enjoyed making a little tie with us. Thank you.